Hi, this is Allie McLean for Electromixer on Blaze.com. We're here at South by Southwest Music Festival, and with me right now I have a legend, Minkering Mike. Well, thank you. It's very uh, nice to be here. Very exciting place here. Yeah, have you been having fun since you got to Texas? Oh, yes. I've been enjoying myself. Kind of nice to, you know, sit back and, uh, you know, take in the scenery and everything. You have a very interesting story. One that, um, when I've told it to people, they say to me, I live literally get goosebumps when I hear that. It's it's pretty amazing. So um, let's start back at the beginning in Washington, D.C. when you were nine, I think, ten? Okay, well, in D.C., uh, I was uh, basically a loner and uh, had an artistic flair with me. I used to just spend time listening to records and watching um, the shows at that time on TV. And all of a sudden, I just kind of like got the bug. <laughs> in me and had a thought about uh, titles. That's all I could do. I couldn't write. Mm. At the time, I couldn't write anything. I just thought of titles. Maybe after a year or so, the title started to uh, turn into lyrics. And after the lyrics, then I was saying, what am I going to do with this now? I had like, uh, you know, the melody in my head, but I didn't write music, didn't play any uh, instruments or anything like that. So I said, well, let me get a tape recorder and, and, mm -hmm. and put the tune on the tape and sing it at the same time. And then um, other ideas for songs and things came in, and I started writing them and recording them. And one way you can tell if something sounds kind of good, it's like if you in one room and you go to another and kind of forget about was there and I said, I said, who's that singer? He said, oh, it's me. And I said, well, that's that's not half bad. So then from there, I said, I, I wanted to express myself further. So then I thought to myself, well, let me go down to the local uh, drugstore and um, pick up some art supplies and see what I could do. And so I started uh, coming up with the design for the albums. Mm -hmm. After I, I was doing things for my, myself, then I said, well, I wonder if I could uh, come up with ideas for other people, too. I was the only one that knew it, but I, I just want to see if I could stretch myself for doing things like that. Did you do a Bruce Lee album? Yes, because uh, he was one of my idols, and it just um, uh, amazed me uh, the talent that he had. So I came up with an album called Trivia to Bruce. Yeah. And I also, you know, wanted to take it a little further, and I came up with uh, an album soundtrack called Brother of the Dragon. It's in this book here. This incredible writer, you know, had, had uh, wow. you know, put together for me. Here's a better picture of the Brother of the Dragon. Can you explain to um, everyone why n nobody heard these records? The reason why no one heard of it because all the records were fake.